Customs Valuation Methods for Luxury Handbag Imports Welcome to our video on Customs Valuation Methods for Luxury Handbag Imports. If you're involved in the importation of luxury goods, understanding how customs values are determined is crucial. Today, we'll explore the different valuation methods used by customs authorities and how they apply specifically to luxury handbags. So, let's dive in. When it comes to customs valuation, there are six methods outlined by the World Trade Organization WTO. The most commonly used method is the transaction value method, which is based on the price actually paid or payable for the imported goods. This method is normally applicable when you buy luxury handbags from an unrelated seller, and the price paid can be used as the basis for customs valuation. However, there are cases where the transaction value method can't be applied, such as when importing luxury handbags from related sellers. In such situations, alternative methods come into play. One of these methods is the transaction value of identical goods, where the customs value is calculated based on the price of identical or similar goods. This method assumes that the value of the imported luxury handbag is similar to that of its identical or similar counterparts. Another commonly used method is the deductive method, which determines the customs value by subtracting certain costs from the selling price of the imported luxury handbags. These costs may include transportation and insurance expenses, as well as any selling commissions or discounts. The computed method is another option for customs valuation. This method involves a step-by-step -step calculation that takes into account the cost of production, general expenses, and profit margins. The computed value serves as the basis for customs valuation. The residual method is used as a last resort when none of the previous methods can be applied. This method determines the customs value based on the selling price of goods in the country of importation, after deducting the costs incurred in that country. While rarely used, it can still be relevant in specific scenarios. It's important to note that customs valuation methods provide flexibility to accommodate various situations. However, they must be used in a consistent and transparent manner. Customs authorities may request supporting documentation, such as invoices, contracts, or other relevant paperwork, to verify the declared value. Now that we've covered customs valuation methods, let's talk about customs bonds. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures the payment of import duties and taxes to customs authorities. In the case of luxury handbag imports, a customs bond acts as a form of collateral to protect the government's revenue. Additionally, as an importer of luxury handbags, you need to comply with the Importer Security Filing ISF, requirements. The ISF is a document that must be filed with customs authorities for all ocean shipments arriving in the United States. It includes information about the shipper, consignee, cargo, and vessel details. Failing to comply with ISF requirements can result in penalties and delays in the release of your luxury handbag imports. To navigate the complexities of customs valuation, customs bonds, and ISF requirements, it's essential to work with a professional customs brokerage firm. Their expertise and knowledge in international trade regulations can save you time, money, and potential headaches. With their assistance, you can ensure compliance with customs requirements and keep your luxury handbag imports flowing smoothly. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of customs valuation methods for luxury handbag imports. We hope you found this information valuable. Stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Don't forget to subscribe and watch out for our upcoming videos. Disclaimer notification below.